it's that wonderful time of the year when the military just keeps getting better and better and establishing why it's a premier occupation choice for you. It's the new year and with every new year comes more pay and this year doesn't fall short of that. We are getting some huge pay increases this year and I want to show you every one of them. On December 27, 2021, President Biden has signed the National Defense Authorization Act, which goes into effect 2022. This is going to allow a 2.7% raise for all military members to increase their base pay. Let's find out how much that's going to be for you. I always Google military pay and I always click on this website, the Navy CS. I love this website. And this is for active duty. So if you're joining active duty military, this pay is for you. So you're going to see some numbers. On the left side, you're going to see E1 through E7. And on the right side, you're going to see years of service. Everybody's going to come in either an E1 or an E3. Let's just say you signed a six year contract so you can get E3. Let's look at your pay. You're going to be receiving $2,161. And that's about a $60 raise compared to last year. But as you can see with more time, in the Air Force and more rank in the Air Force, you can continuously make more money. But that's just your base pay. The military is also increasing your basic allowance for housing. Me being a realtor, I've noticed that the housing market has skyrocketed. The DOD estimates an increase of 5.1% which could be as much as $100 to $260. In order to really find out how much of a raise you've gotten for BAH, you're just going to want to Google BAH calculator. And the best website to go to is the defensetravel.dod website. Just go to that website, put in your zip code for which you think you'll be living, put in your rank, and then bam, it'll show you how much you will make if you're single and also how much you would make with dependents. Lastly, the military has also raised your basic allowance for sustenance, otherwise your BAS. This is your food money. And this is one of the biggest raises I've seen in forever. They're giving us a 5.3% raise. Last year I said that the BAS raise was one of the biggest ones I've seen in forever, but this one trumps that. Now everyone on the enlisted side is gonna be receiving $406 a month. That's about a $20 increase since last year. That's crazy. All of these pay raises will take effect January 1st, 2022. Now all this is really good, but what I really wanna do is explain to y'all financially the difference between choosing the military as your career path or choosing a civilian career path. Now, in order for me to do this, I have to show y'all the median individual income. And for the year 2021, that is going to be $44,225. Now, this means that half of the U.S. population made more than that, and this means that half of the U.S. population made less than that. So we're just going to use that number as the middle person in America. Now, if you take the Air Force base pay of an E3, remember, do the six year because you can come in as an E3, and you also incorporate your housing allowance. I use the lack an Air Force Base zip code and you include your BAS or your food money into your overall income, you're going to be making about $3,815 a month. You times that by 12 and you're making $45,780 for the year. You are already over that medium individual income. So just starting out in the military with no skills, no college degree, you are already doing slightly better than half of America financially. But we're not going to stop there. We have to look a little bit deeper. So for healthcare, the average single coverage is about $450 a month. This is what most people pay to put some insurance on themselves just in case anything bad happens. In the military, this is provided to you for free. But we're going to include this into our annual income just to show how important it is. So we're going to take that $450 and times it by 12 bringing us to $5,400. We also receive $4,500 a year for tuition assistance so you can go to school. Now this money doesn't just come to you, you don't get $4,500, you only get that money when you actually go to school. So if you don't use it, then you kind of just waste that money. So if we add it all up, as a civilian, if you wanted to match what a new military member makes annually, you would have to make about $55,680. If you find yourself looking at these numbers and they're intriguing, but in the back of your mind you're like, yeah, but it's still the military. I have a great channel where I try to break down the lifestyle and benefits of the Air Force to show you that it's not that bad of a career choice. So if you want to learn more, definitely click the subscribe button so I can get you more content to help you with your decision. Like I always say, I hope this video brought value to you. Stay beautiful, stay classy, and until next time, check me out.